is really held up as one of the premier female composers of the time. Um, it was really rare for women to have the freedoms that she was afforded, in part because her father, Giulio Strozzi, a poet and librettist, really celebrated her abilities. He knew that she had a beautiful voice and saw her compositional talent and created opportunities for her within the court to be featured. You really don't see that happening um, in the rest of the country, if not most of Europe at the time. So we do have Francesca Caccini, who was in Florence. Her father was the famous Giulio Caccini, and she did a lot of composition work as well as teaching work. She taught nuns. And so she and Barbara Strozzi are kind of the big pillars of the secular compositional world during the time. There was an entire world of female composers that were composing within nunneries at the time as well, which is very exciting and interesting too. People associate being a nun at that time with having no freedoms. In some cases, these women actually had more freedom because they didn't have to worry about being married off, having a house full of children, taking care of a house, and being part of society in that way. They kind of hid behind the convent walls and had a lot of freedoms to create poetry and music and all of that. So I think one could take away from this larger picture that women had a lot more freedoms um, as long as they were pretty quiet about it. And Barbara Strozzi was able to be fairly prominent even during her lifetime, many of her works were published during her lifetime, despite the fact that it was not really allowed for many other people.